Tagging in Azure is a powerful way to organize your resources, track cost and implement governance. However, without enforcement, tags can be quickly become inconsistent or forgotten altogether. That's where Azure policy comes in, enabling you to enforce tagging rules across your subscriptions or resource groups. Hello everyone, I hope you are all doing well. I'm Manhar and welcome back to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we will walk through how to enforce resource tagging at the subscription level using Azure policy, ensuring all resources comply with your organization's tagging requirements. It's a best practice to apply tags on Azure resources at the time of its creation. As it's optional to add tags when you create a resource, you can easily skip it. To ensure that tags are applied whenever a resource is created, you can create an Azure policy to require a tag. In the previous video, we learned what a tag is in Azure and how to manually assign tags to our resources in Azure. You can find the link to the video in the description. Azure policy allows you to use either built-in or custom policy definitions and assign them to a specific resource group or across entire Azure subscription. The policies are executed whenever new resources are created within the assigned policy scope and can be used to either deny or audit the deployment if the policy requirements have not been met. In this video, we will use a built-in policy definition to enforce resource tagging. In the first step, we need to log into the Azure portal. Open your preferred web browser, navigate to portal.azure.com and sign in with your Azure account. On the home page, click on subscription. Select the subscription from the list for which you want to enforce resource tagging using Azure policy. Expand settings and click on policies. Click assign policy from the top menu bar. Choose the scope for the policy assignment. Set the scope to a specific Azure subscription. In our case, our Azure subscription is already selected as the scope. Since we want to enforce it across all resource groups in the subscription, we will leave the exclusion field blank. Click on ellipsis button to choose the policy definition. This is going to show all of the different built-in policy definitions. Take a moment to browse through the list of built-in policy definitions that are available for you to use. You can also use the search or filter options to quickly find a definition. Click on All Categories. Type Tag in the search box, then uncheck the All checkbox. Select Tags and then click Apply to display only tag-related policy definitions. Now type Require a tag in the search bar. In the results, choose the require a tag on resource groups policy and click add. Enter a custom assignment name if you want. Ensure that policy enforcement is enabled. Click next. Enter the tag name that you want to apply to all resource groups. Click on review plus create. Review the settings and when validation is successful, click create. Wait for few seconds. The policy created successfully. Let's click on refresh. We need to wait for a few seconds. Verify that the newly created policy is listed. Next, we will test the new policy assignment by trying to create a resource group without a tag. Note that it may take between 5 and 10 minutes for the policy to take effect. Expand portal menu and click on resource group. On the resource groups page, click the create button. Fill in required information. Select the name of the Azure subscription in which you want to create the resource group. Enter a unique name for our resource group. Azure portal will check that the name is unique for the selected Azure subscription. We will select East US region. Click next. To test our policy, we will not assign any tags to this resource group. Click on review plus create to review our selection. We are getting validation error message that validation failed. Required information is missing or not valid and it is on Tags tab. Click on Tags. Here we see the error message that it requires a tag on all resource group. This is the custom assignment name which we have configured for our Azure policy. Require a tag on all resource group. 
If you want to know more about policy details, then you can click on policy details. This says tag name is required. Let me close it. We will not be able to create a resource group without assigning a tag. Type a tag name NV. Let's click on this drop down menu and select NV. Let's type value taste. So I'm using tag name NV with value taste. Again, click on review plus create. This time the validation will pass successfully. Now click on create and wait for the confirmation message that the resource group is created successfully. This concludes our video on how to enforce resource tagging at the subscription level using Azure policy. I hope you found this video helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on Microsoft Azure and other Microsoft related topics. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.